Hi everyone, welcome back for another Therapy Tip Tuesday. My name is Amanda and you can find me in the League Success and the Wanta offices. So today we're going to be talking about expressive and receptive language goals in speech therapy. Many children target these sort of goals in speech therapy and expressive language refers to gestures or vocabulary, vocabulary and verbal output that helps an individual express themselves and receptive language refers to comprehension and processing of language when you're being spoken to. So often when targeting these goals in speech therapy, I will use simple toys to uh, target an array and like various things that fit, fall into both of these categories. So one toy that I use very frequently is these animal farm animal barns. Um, they each have a little barn and then little like finger puppet animals inside. So in terms of targeting some expressive language goals, you can target spatial concepts um, or spatial awareness, requesting goals and functional vocabulary. So in terms of spatial awareness, this refers to the orientation of items in a room. So the duck is next to the barn, the duck is in front of the barn, the duck is above the barn, behind and so on. So we can, introduce and teach those concepts by just modeling like that um, and we can also make it somewhat receptive by saying where's the duck now is the duck next to the barn or on top of the barn i often like to give those binary choices because it gives the child a choice and makes it a little bit more um, easy to understand the concepts right away so you can also target requesting so requesting refers to um, when I'm playing with toys like this, I might withhold them from the student initially, and then they have to ask for them. So um, with children that are just developing, like early language development, they may you, we may teach them words such as give me, more, we might use ASL in, um, like in parrot with the expressive language, and they have to request and ask for the item. So give me the pink barn, um, more barn, more duck animals like that so it also so withholding it and then giving them the item once they uh, request it whether it's via um, sign language or a verbal request we can also target functional vocabulary with um, little barns like this so this refers to um, lots of different category categories of vocabulary such as colors animals I might even do some animal sounds with it so having the child name the color of each barn, the barn is blue, and then the animal inside, what color is the animal inside, black and white. Is the cow purple or is the cow black and white? We can also name um, the animals that are in each of the barns and that would be an animal category of vocabulary. So we can also use these barns to target receptive language, such as following directions. So I may say to the child, open up the yellow barn. They would have to then comply with the direction, open up the barn and take the duck out. So this would be them following directions. So little simple toys like this can actually be used in various different ways that are actually very useful in speech therapy. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. So we'll see you next week. Thanks, bye.